I think people pretty widely assume that using the snooze button is bad because it sort of carries this connotation that you are lazy or that you need extra time in bed or for whatever reason, you know, our society is very oriented towards things that happen early in the morning, typical work schedule, start at nine, that kind of thing. And there's this popular perception that if that it's better to be a morning person. And I think snoozing kind of goes against that idea. There are a couple reasons why people snooze. One is that they find it easier to wake up if they have kind of gone back into a half asleep or dozing state and are not waking up, you know, purely from a deep sleep. And the other reason is just that people are really tired and when their alarm goes off, they're not quite ready to get out of bed. One reason that people think snoozing is bad is that you are prematurely pulling yourself out of deep sleep and replacing it with lighter sleep after you go back to sleep. There are some studies that do suggest that's not that great for you, but others find that it can actually be easier um, to wake up and feel alert if you are waking up from light sleep instead of deep sleep. So it might help with things like morning grogginess or like feeling as though your brain needs time to turn on in the morning if you have snoozed before getting up. Another reason that people think snoozing is not good for you is that it just signifies that you're not getting enough sleep at night. Like if you're so tired that you need to hit the snooze button, that kind of suggests that, that something's wrong with your sleep. And that might be the case for some people, but several studies that I saw suggested that people who snooze don't get less sleep overall and don't get poor quality sleep. So it's not necessarily a signal of a bigger problem. One of the most common sleep tips that I hear in talking to experts is that you should try to go to bed and wake up at pretty much the same time every day because that helps your body kind of get in a rhythm of, of going to sleep and waking up. Whereas if you are going to bed at midnight one night and then 10 the next night and nine the next night, your body kind of gets confused and doesn't know when it should be sleeping. So it can be harder to fall asleep that way. There's no one size fits all. Like for some people, if, if your alarm goes off at seven and you're supposed to get up at seven, but you can't get yourself out of bed until eight, like maybe that is a sign that you didn't get enough sleep the night before or that your sleep is poor quality. But for people who just find it a more pleasant way to wake up and it's kind of built into their daily routine, um, from what I could find, there's nothing wrong with that.